Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today on our 2018 Subaru Crosstrek, we're gonna be showing you how to install the Kurt trailer wiring harness. But before we get into that, let me take a minute, check this out, and make sure it's gonna work for you. So you got yourself a trailer hitch, and now you're wanting to pull a trailer around. Well, you're gonna need a way to illuminate all the lights on the trailer. That way, uh, you know, you'll stay legal for one, because it is required in all 50 states. But you know, just as importantly, stay safe. That way people around you know what's going on and everything else. And so to, to accomplish that, that's where trailer wiring like this is gonna come into play. I mean, in our case, how we have it set up here today, it's actually gonna live inside of the vehicle. So when you're ready to use it, you just grab it out from the storage air. And I kind of like it personally, because you know, it keeps it out of the elements, kind of out of sight. Got plenty of length here. Uh, you won't run into any issues there as far as that goes. But all you're gonna do is close it into the hatch and everywhere is fine. You know, you just wanna avoid the latch mechanism. Don't wanna get it hung up in that. But the wiring's designed to be able to do this. You ain't gonna hurt it. Now you're gonna have a way to plug into your trailer. And this can be routed outside as well if you wanted to do that. This vehicle, not too crazy about it because the exhaust is right right where you would do that. So, uh, But it is an option. But this is going to have a four-way flat type connector. So this is really common on, on these uh, you know, smaller and, and medium-sized type trailers. The type of trailers that the cross track would typically pull. And it's going to give you all those basic functions. So you're going to have your right turn, your left turn, your tail lights, and of course your brake lights. Compared to some of the other wirings available, um, this one's right on par with them. Honestly, when I choose wiring, I prefer Takancha or Kurt because uh, they're, you know, the quality of them is is uh, just about the same. You know, you can't really go wrong with with either one of them. Uh, other than that, though, at the end of the day, pretty straightforward. Um, you know, it's going to get the job done and, and keep you legal. As far as getting it installed goes, really easy. Um, you essentially pop up one plastic panel here at the back. There's a plug, plug the wiring in, secure it, and that's that's really all there is to it. Uh, so so not a whole lot to do there, and just about anyone should be able to, to get this done. But if you'd like to uh, see how it's done, feel free to hang around. We'll go ahead and hook it up together now. To begin our installation, we're gonna be here at the back of our Subaru, and we're gonna need to locate the factory wiring connector, which is right here in this area. And so to get to that, you can take your floor covering, just fold that in half, and then we can remove this threshold piece. To get this threshold off, there's gonna be two fasteners, one here and then one just like it on the other side of our vehicle. You can take a trim tool or flathead screwdriver, pry underneath the head of it, and pop it out. And then we can just start to kind of pull up on this and work it free, and we'll get it out of the way and set off to the side. With the threshold out of the way, we can get access to our connector plug, which is right here. It might be kind of taped up a little bit, uh, but this is what it looks like. And once you locate that, you can take your new wiring harness, plug that right on in, and then there's a uh, ground wire here that we can secure down. I'm just kind of moving this stuff out of the way here. So it's gonna have a pre-attached ring terminal. You can take the included self-tapping screw and attach this to the metal portion of our vehicle. Now we're able to secure our converter box. So I took the two-sided sticky tape, put it on the converter box and I'm gonna put this behind this panel here. So I kind of reach in there and wipe that surface clean, that way everything will stick. And pretty straightforward here. I'm just gonna feed the wires in behind there and stick it in place. As far as our four-way flat wiring goes, I'm just gonna leave this stashed here in our spare tire area. Uh, it'll live inside the vehicle. You can route this outside if you find a grommet or drill a hole or something like that. On this vehicle, it's not really ideal because the muffler, hot muffler, sits right underneath this area. So you'll have to fight with that because you don't want the wiring to touch that. So it's almost easier and more uh, practical to do it this way. Anywho, 
But with that said, we'll go ahead, pop our threshold back in place, and resecure it. It's a good idea to test our wiring to make sure it's working properly. I'm using this tester uh, as opposed to plugging into your trailer. Uh, that way, if your trailer has any issues, you know, it could mislead us into thinking it's something we did on the vehicle side. So the tester like this will eliminate that. But try our left turn, our right turn. We'll hit our brakes and turn on our running lights. And that'll finish up our look at and our installation of the Kurt trailer wiring harness on our 2018 Subaru Crosstrek.